is the best outcome a quick dismissal or is the best outcome to get the witnesses, get the, the vote for witnesses, and then be acquitted by the American people? I guess acquittal fairly quickly. I think, you know, I'm pretty much going to leave that to the senators. I have a lot of respect for them. I can say this. The Republican Party has never been so unified. All right, President Trump there speaking with our very own Maria Bartiromo about impeachment this morning as he wraps his trip to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Maria joins us now from Davos, host of Sunday Morning Futures and FBN's Mornings with Maria. Maria, good morning to you. Amazing stuff out there. And it's just, hey, Sandra. The, 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 the scenes are beautiful there in Switzerland. Um, that interview with the president made a lot of news. What did he say when it comes to this, especially day two now, starting of his impeachment trial? Well, you know, Sandra, I think what the president is trying to do is put forth all of his economic successes. Make sure to remind the country what he's been doing for the last three years. Make sure people understand what's gone on with jobs, what's gone on with wages, income inequality narrowing. At the same time that Nancy Pelosi and, and the critics of the president, Adam Schiff, et cetera, are putting this impeachment trial, you know, front and center. Uh, there's no doubt the president is not happy, upset that he was impeached in the House. But at the same time, you know, he's looking at this and, and, and saying there's no crime here. So I think his best defense, according to him and his aides, is that he just continued to talk about what he is getting done, what he is doing, so that the American people can decide. Because at this point, you've got those senators in there that are, quote, the jury. Uh, it's hard to believe that that's a fair jury, quote, unquote, because four of those senators want his job. They're running for president. Right. Two others uh, wanted his job and have dropped out. And, of course, we know that the rules changed a lot as they went along in the House. So there's definitely some uh, reason to be skeptical about the process, Sandra. And then, of course, he held that surprise news conference this morning where he took a lot of questions from reporters. Maria, he also made news on a big middle t a middle class tax cut. What did we hear on that? Uh, this is the president with you this morning. We're going to be doing a middle class tax cut, a very big one. We'll be doing a tax one. cut for the middle class, or you just want to make that permanent? No, no, I'm going to make a tax cut, and we're going to probably make the other permanent. It's got a long way to go, in all fairness, but we're going to make that permanent for the middle class. So we'll be doing that. We'll be announcing it over the next 90 days. Uh, that's, to me, very important. Not just a big, but a very big middle class tax cut coming, he says. Yeah. I mean, at this point, if you're making between $30,000 and $100,000, you're in the tax range of about 24, 28 percent. He's talking about cutting that to 15 percent, Sandra. Right. Now, he didn't go to specific numbers. I don't know if it's going to be 15 percent, but he definitely has been talking about those, that range. So that would be a pretty significant cut for the middle class, and, and uh, he needs the House uh, to do that. He needs to actually the Republicans to reclaim the House in order to get something like that through. So he said it's only going to be done if we have the House and we have the Senate because, you know, they're not going to uh, allow him to do much uh, if, in fact, he is in a second term. You see the way they're fighting him at every turn now. You know, Maria, uh, watching that interview, you really got a sense that he's trying to get things done. He's over there in Davos, Switzerland, as he said, touting the booming uh, U.S. economy here back at home. While he's being impeached, there's a trial happening in the Senate. What, did, what, what sense did you get of the president's mood when you spoke to him this morning? You know, he was in a really good mood, actually. He uh, seemed uh, very easy, uh, easy going to talk about it. He was not, you know, shying away from any questions. There's no doubt I would expect that he wants this to be over as quickly as possible. But at the same time, remember how Nancy Pelosi has been trolling him, saying, you're impeached forever. Mm -hmm. Senator Ted Cruz on my show this weekend, Sunday Morning Future, said, well, if he's acquitted, he's acquitted forever. And yeah. so I think that even though he would like this to go away as soon as possible, get a dismissal and, and, and put this in the rear view mirror, uh, if he's acquitted and you actually do go through witnesses uh, yeah. or subpoenas of, do of documents, then he is acquitted by the American people, and maybe that's a better outcome overall. Great stuff from Davos. Maria Bartiromo. Maria, thanks.